This is the first course on island biology that has been offered at the University of Florida. There are several aspects to the class. Um, every day there are lectures, um, either by myself or, or from uh, visiting instructors, visiting professors, and uh, they include prominent island biologists, people who have been working on islands for many, many years and have a lot of long-term data on islands. We also have discussions uh, that are, that are uh, related to the presentations and the lectures that we give, and then there are lots of activities. One of the goals of this course is to uh, to prepare these students for going into a field of wildlife biology or just biology, um, especially one that would involve field work because um, a lot of students are interested in it but they haven't really gone through all of the, the different um, the processes of, of what a biologist does, what a field biologist does. So the, the whole process of, of coming up with an idea, you know, thinking about a system, making observations, right, coming up with a, a, a testable hypothesis or some guess that you, you can collect data on, collect the data, analyze them, and then write them up in, in some sort of scientific format. I really like to focus on the field work um, and for a number of reasons. It's, it's really great to have students get outside and get their hands dirty and see these things that they're catching or that they're looking at, identify them, find out what's here, you know, what is you know, right off the coast. They're amazed because there's so much stuff. If you look around, you don't necessarily see it, but if you do a little bit of seining or you, know, you set up a light at night, things come and, and it's really nice to be able to see that and they key them out and they get excited. I hope that I really build on my field skills here. Most everything I've done basically has been with captive wildlife so far and so the opportunity to come out and actually practice these things that I've heard of and heard other people doing, setting traps and things like that, actually doing them myself is going to be really big for me. One thing we did last night, which we'll continue to do probably almost every night because it was really, really, really cool, was um, just going out, walking along along the beach and, look, and looking for cottonmouths at night and last night we saw 32 and about half to three-fourths of a mile walking so that's that's a pretty high number of cottonmouths especially on an island where you never see them anyway so there are not many places where you can go on an island and see tens of thousands of nesting birds and see cottonmouth snakes coming out at night and, and coiling up along the the shoreline and to collect data on these things and actually get credit for it so it's really a unique experience in that regard so it's something i think is, is really really uh it's timely and the fact that we're on an island here and they have replicate islands around us really uh, it makes this place really unique and ideally suited to study something like island biology.